Hey kids, thanks for coming down on such short notice. I've got a very important presentation to give you. And if you're wondering why your dad just left crying, well, it's because I gave him the same presentation earlier in the evening. <laughs> okay, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I have two charts behind me. Now, this chart I made when I was 16 years old, while this chart I drew up last night. Now, this chart represents the path that my life was supposed to have taken, and we're gonna refer to this chart from now on as my wonderful life. Well, this chart shows the path that my life has actually taken, and we're gonna refer to this as my walking nightmare. Any questions? Excellent, okay, let's compare charts, okay? Now, as you can see from my walking nightmare, I wasn't supposed to marry your daddy at all. Big mistake, huh? I was supposed to have married TV's bionic man, Lee Majors. And in 1985, I was supposed to have won an Oscar for my performance in the sequel to Gandhi. But instead, I spent most of 1985 in the Betty Ford Clinic dealing with the little glue sniffing problem that I had. <laughs> Kids, do you see how nutty this is? <laughs> okay, let's move on. April 16th, 1991. I was supposed to have been reading excerpts from my Pulitzer Prize winning novel, The Gag Reflex, to the UN General Assembly. <laughs> Not having my ovaries removed, boo. <laughs> Nothing on this chart is right. <laughs> okay, last Thursday night, I was supposed to have become the first woman president of these United States. But instead, I spent most of last Thursday kneeling in a puddle of my own vomit at the Motel 6 on Fairfax while a young man who I paid to have sex with me steals my credit cards. <laughs> Kids, what's wrong with this picture? That's right! Everything! <laughs> this isn't my life! This, this is my life. And it's not too late to start living it. Kids, I am wearing my old prom dress because somehow your mommy found the courage to go back and do it all over again! <laughs> isn't that great? Dreams can come true. You just have to make them happen. That is my lesson to my children. My last lesson, as it turns out, because in my wonderful life, you guys never happened. <laughs> On that note, uh, here are the keys to the car and the house. Here's some money and credit cards. You guys are gonna have to forge my signature. I won't be needing much because I'm moving back in with my parents and returning to high school. <laughs> I wish you kids all the best. And remember, this doesn't mean your mommy doesn't love you. It just means you're not real to her. <laughs> Grow up strong and make somebody proud of you. Oh. Bye. <laughs> Don't worry, Grandma always sends her home. <laughs> 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 <laughs>